is advice hasn't landed well so this is the part I'm getting to okay that I didn't know he even said and how people responded to it uh, with people frustrated by spending 26% more on groceries since 2020 on social media the campaign is being seen as insensitive CNBC host Car- Carl Quintala, uh, Quintanella, I don't think I'm saying it right, uh, asked uh, the CEO if encouraging weary customers to eat cereal for dinner could land the wrong way. Um, the CEO thought the opposite. In fact, it's landing really well right now. This is what he said, the CEO. Cereal for dinner is something that is probably more on trend now and we would expect to continue as that consumer is under pressure. Prices for groceries and restaurants have skyrocketed since the start of the pandemic. Now look at that. In 2022, consumers spent 11.3% of their disposable income on food, the highest level since 1991. Look at that. The Wall Street Journal reported last week, citing data from the U.S. Agriculture Department, food companies have raised prices since the start of the pandemic to cover higher costs for labor, ingredients, and transportation, and because they just could. Hmm, sound about right. Cereal prices alone increased 28% since January of 2020, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. In its latest fiscal year, catalog Kellogg's catalog, catalog, ca- uh, Kellogg's raised prices by 12%. Now, I have to stop there. Now, when I bought the cereal, I didn't buy name brand. (laughs) Okay, I didn't buy name brand. I bought the store brand, which is usually my my deal. Whatever is on sale, and I've tried it before, and I like it, that's what I'm... That's what I'm buying, okay? So, no, I'm going to be honest. I didn't buy Kellogg's Raisin Bran, but I did buy a type of Raisin Bran. Um, Yeah, I did, as well as my Frosted Flakes from before and my Corn Flakes. They were not exactly name brand. They were store brand. Okay, I will continue. Some consumers have called the comments tone deaf from an executive who made more than $4 million last year. They note that boxes of popular cereals now cost more than $7, and cereal is not an adequate substitution for a full dinner. The backlash highlights consumer anger at companies for raising prices on everyday foods, and in some cases, 